All praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah. And that's uh, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, the Father of all spirits. Yahweh Shah is his only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly called Jesus. And I want to say double honors to the elder apostles, the great millstone who will will. Salutations to the Aki and my dad, the gaps, pushing his truth and sincerity. Safety, peace, and blessings to the blessed elect of Israel across the four corners of the earth. All right, uh, it's going to be a quick lesson. You know, I say Shabbat Shalom, which means peace on the Sabbath. It's the new moon. As of today, we in it. And I just want to hit a few scriptures to show that it's time is uh, actually determined by the moon. And without further ado, let's get right into it. And this is Genesis 1.14, as you see on your screen now. Let me big it up a little bit. Genesis 1.14, And the powers said, Let there be lights in the firmament of heaven to divide the day from the night. And let them be for signs, and for seasons, and for days, and for years. So, the lights in the firmament actually determine that. You know what I'm saying? Let it be determined for the signs, seasons, and days, and years. Okay? And right now we're concentrating on the times, I mean, what well, the seasons of the moon. Because the moon is basically, it is a light that increases and increases in our season. And we're going to get that and we're going to prove that, you see. And the next scripture I want to bring up before we begin, before we go on is um, a song. In the Psalms, and that'll be Psalms. Give me a second. Psalms 1, 2, 4, 19. That'll be Psalms 104 and 19. And it reads Psalms 104 and 19. He appointed the moon for seasons, the sun north is going down. Now it says he appointed the moon for seasons and the sun's north is going down. Now the reason he appointed the moon for seasons is because that's how we know when we in um, spring, you know. Um, as according to, of course, the sun and then you see, you know, the way the trees and the leaves go. But we know when, when spring so come in, as according to the new moon, when we shall do um, the Lord's Passover, things and uh, precious things of that nature um, and we can determine the new month you know actually the new month you know what I'm saying now you have this uh, Gregorian calendar that pretty much the entire world go by um, except for those brothers that be in the know you know and um, they would have the Sabbath on Friday evening to Saturday evening when there is no Friday or Saturday evening in the, in the Bible, in the scriptures. There's no Friday or Saturday in the scriptures, but yet they are determined that's what we're going by, as according to the Gregorian calendar, which is off, 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 off. Now, I'm not saying to not be wise as a serpent as Yahweh Shah gave you commandment, to be wise as a serpent, you know. Um, you know, you gotta get your daily bread, and you gotta move about these, these, these beasts out here. You gotta move about them, so, you know, you play the game. But all the while keeping Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Waha Mashiach, Yahweh Shai in your heart as to walk accordingly to the best of your ability. All right? So, one more again. Psalms 104, 19. He appointed the moon for seasons. The sun north is going down. All right? Let's get another scripture right quick. I'm going to breeze through this shit. You know? Breeze through this. All right, let's get another scripture. Give me a second. It's a lot. Give me a second, and let's go back to to the run me. Let's go to the run me right quick. And that's do the run me fourteen. <clears throat> Now it says in Deuteronomy 33 and 14, And for the precious fruits brought forth by the sun, and for the precious things put forth by the moon. Alright? Now, and for the precious fruits brought forth by the sun. 
Now, I know I'm talking about the moon and everything, all right? And in all actuality, in all actuality, I'm talking about the, but the, the sun part, that could be twofold. I mean, it could be literal fruit that grows out the, the earth, you know what I'm saying, where you got your, your, your tomatoes and, you know, things of that nature. I don't want to go too deep in it, but that actually could be a sun that's representing wisdom and knowledge, precious fruits too. And for the precious things put forth by the moon, precious things put forth by the moon because the moon can symbolize wisdom as well. But in this context here, those precious things put forth by the moon, we know the moon is not making that grow at night, right? You no, know, it's not, you know, no cabbage or squash growing by moonlight, right? So the precious things that's brought forth by the moon are our holy days, our high Sabbaths, which would be the new moon, you know, the topic of the conversation, the high Sabbath, and the holy days that's throughout the year. Those are the precious things because the holy days are determined by the moon cycle. And that's how we know when they come in. Day of Atonement, you know what I'm saying? We count, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like I said, the Passat, Passover, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and of course, the High Sabbath, which would be the New Moon, the Kadash. And I'm going to get into that. Now, let's look up. Let's look up. Let's look up the word moon. Let's look it up. Let's go to tools right quick. And let's look up new moon. And that's, uh, I don't know if the guy will say it. Let's see if he has said it. Strong's H 3391. Yerach. Yerach. Salak. All right, it says month. Lunar cycle, moon, month, calendar month. Okay, so the word moon is interchangeable with month. Alright, now the last one, Kadash, is not no Iraq. It's Kadash, alright? Kadash, Kadash. Alright, and um, yeah, last one, Kadash, last one, meaning tongue, Kadash meaning holy, holy tongue, the pure tongue, the Paleo Hebrew, if you like that. So you see the word month is interchangeable with moon. And I'm going to go a little more on that. But I want to bring out this other scripture. And keep that in mind. I want to bring out this other scripture in the Apocrypha to prove that it's such. And let's go and get that. And it says right here, I'll start at verse 5. And this is Ecclesiasticus, uh, known amongst the brethren as Sirach. By the prologue, but Ecclesiasticus 43 and 5. Great is the Lord that made it, and at his commandment runneth hastily. He made the moon also to serve in her season, you know, made for seasons, right? For a declaration of times and a sign of the world, for a declaration of times. Declaration of times. So the moon declares the next month. The moon declares the time of the month. The moon declares the middle of the month. You know, and when you go outside, before I move on, when you see no moon in the sky, you don't see a sliver, okay? Like the Edomites like to tell you. When you see no moon, is the new moon. All right? Not even a slight crescent. No moon is the night of the new moon. All right? The seventh verse. From the moon is the sign of feast. A light that decreases in her perfection. As I said, that's how we determine our high holy days and our high Sabbaths, which is the new moon, Kadash. The eighth verse. The month is called after her name. Then we just get the definition in the uh, in a uh, blue letter Bible from Deuteronomy 33 and 14. Let's keep moving. Increasing, increasing wonderfully in her changing, being an instrument of the armies above. Shining in the firmament of heaven. Alright. And that's pretty much it on that. You know. And um, as I said before. The new, the new moon. Well the moon itself just determines the, the, the uh, times. It's a declaration of times. And it determines the seasons that we are in. Alright. 
the sun has its purpose, as it says in um, Psalms 104 and 19. The sun north is going down. The sun has its purpose and has many purposes that it has. Both of these uh, great lights in the sky serve for the purpose of times and for signs and for seasons, as it says in Genesis 1.14. And before I close this out, I want to get an example. I want to get an example as I brought up this definition. It says the month is called by her name back in Ecclesiastes 43rd chapter, right? And just one more again on this definition and I might bring it back up. Month, moon. So it's interchangeable with month, new month, a new moon. Kadash. I know you're right. But let's get an example out of the, um, back in the KJV, right? And this is going to be in, um, First Solomon, first, yeah, First Samuel, First Samuel, so like First Samuel, the 20th chapter, and the 5th verse, alright, alright, and I'm going to get right to it, um, those who don't know the story, this is uh, uh, King David at the time, before he was king, and um, he was friends with, um, With Jonathan, all right, Saul's son, right, and this was at the time he was fleeing from Saul, right. So I don't want to go too deep in the story, but this time he was fleeing from Saul, and you know the new moon came, and Saul was expecting him to come to the new moon. Okay, and David was basically at the time, like I say, fleeing, so he avoided such. But let's let's go ahead and get right into the story. So this first Samuel twenty and five. And it reads, and David said unto Jonathan, Behold, tomorrow is the new moon, and I should not fail to sit with the king at meat. But let me go, that I may hide myself in the field unto the third day at even. Right? To the third day at even. Now, let's jump down to the 18th verse of 1 Samuel, the 20th chapter. And in the 18th verse, it says, then Jonathan said to David, tomorrow is the new moon. Okay, they was talking in between them. All right, let's stay on the key point. And thou shalt be missed because thy seat will be empty. Right? And let's jump on to the 24th verse. Like I said, I just want to hit the key points. And this is as an example to give you. So David hid himself in the field. And when the new moon was come, the king sent him down to eat meat. 25th verse, and the king sat upon his seat as at other times. This king is talking about King Saul. Even upon a seat by the wall. And Jonathan arose, and Abner sat by Saul's side. And David's place was empty. Don't forget, it's the new moon. 26th verse of 1 Samuel, this 20th chapter. Nevertheless, Saul spake not anything that day. For he thought something had befallen him. He is not clean, surely he is not clean. 27th verse, and it came to pass on the morrow, which was the second day of the month, that David's place was empty. And Saul said unto Jonathan his son, Wherefore cometh not the son of Jesse to meet, neither yesterday nor today? So as you see, the new moon falls on the first day of the month, and then in the, in the moon represents Kadash. I mean, yeah. It's it's actually the name Kadash in the Paleo Hebrew, which is the original Hebrew, the ancient Hebrew, alright? It's Kadash. And just determine, as it says in the twenty seventh verse of the twentieth chapter of first Samuel, and it came to pass on the morrow, which was the second day of the month. So the new moon determines the first day of the month. All right, let's go into this word right quick and let's see what it says as far as month oh that's one word day of month oh okay day of month let's see now that's that's actually a word the new moon month monthly that's actually the word right there kadash because they said let me see what they say how they gonna say it strong's age 23 20 Chodesh. 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 Chodes
Bangladesh. Okay. And as you see before, that's how you know the balloon that go off. Because it's supposed to be Kodash, Kodesh. Kadash, Kodesh. You know they're gonna turn it to the Yiddish. But you see the new moon. Month, monthly. Alright? Well I hope this was edifying. You know, to the to the people it's supposed to be edifying too. I want to say all praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the elder apostles, a great millstone who do well. Salutations to the Aki of Ade and the Hedges, pushing his truth and sincerity. Safety, peace, and blessings to the blessed elect across the four corners of the earth. Shalom.